I'm a tiger, king of the jungle. And I'm a fox. What's a fox doing here in the jungle? The real question is, what does the fox say? Okay, now that we got that out of the way, let's get down to business. Yes, business. My name is Stephanie Wong, customer engineer here at Google, and today we've brought on our fox. Hello, I'm the fox. My name is Matt Powers. I actually work for a company called Maven Wave, which is a Google partner. Um, but fortunately, over the last few months, I've been working with Stephanie here on the uh, customer engineering team. Awesome. So welcome to Take 5. Thank you. So you know the deal. We got five minutes to demo a product on GCP. What are you going to be showing us today? I'm going to be demoing a uh, solution that Maven Wave built. It's called Waypoints, uh, built on top of GCP, uses some machine learning, some other cool uh, GCP products. So super excited. Awesome. Let's go ahead and get started. Woo. All right, thanks, Stephanie. So this is the Waypoints application. There's really two key views. Uh, this is the rep view, and then there's a managerial view, which I'll show in a second. Uh, but this view is for the rep. Uh, for this example or for this demo, this is going to be for different apartment communities. So, for example, if you're a, uh, a sales rep for apartments.com and you need to go out and visit a bunch of these communities and you know check up with the landlord, uh, this will help you plan the most efficient route uh, for your day. So the blue icons represent customers and the green icons represent prospects. So as you can see over here, there's a few different things going on. Uh, so one, you have you know just the general information about uh, the management company, the property name, and this is all being pulled from your CRM system. So we have out-of-the-box connectors with Salesforce. Uh, if your data is in uh, Excel or Google Sheets, we can pull it in uh, from there. Uh, then there's this priority score. This is used, uh, this is created from uh, machine learning, and I'll get into this a little bit later. Um, you have your different package level, and then you could add that individual account to the route. You could also add visit notes once you visit that uh, location, and you could see a street view of that apartment community so you know where you're going. Is that leveraging Google Maps? Yeah, a lot of what's going on here is Google Maps. Um, I guess that's kind of the basis of the information from the different accounts. Uh, the next thing I want to get into is kind of creating your day. So let's say you want to go up here into Crystal Lake and visit a few of these communities. So what you can do is instead of in individually selecting different communities, you could just kind of draw a box and say, I want to visit these, uh, what is it, six communities. And it's going to automatically, using some of the Google Maps APIs, route your most efficient um, your most efficient uh, day or your most efficient route. Uh, on the left-hand left side here, you can start, you know, really get in granular with, you know, I'm going to be at Randall Village for an hour, uh, and my next meeting starts at, you know, whatever it may be, noon. Uh, so at the bottom, you can see, you know, how, you know, how far this is going to be, your total uh, trip time, uh, taking into account the meeting length. Uh, and then after that, you can push this route to Google Maps. So you can send a text message to yourself with this exact route. Um, and I think that's a good overview of the reps. There's a few other features, like if you're looking for new prospects, you could search for, you know, apartments. And once again, using the Google Maps API, you could actually find new prospects uh, kind of on the fly and add them to your route. So that is the rep view. Now switching over to the manager view. Uh, so I guess first thing to point out here is each of these different colors represents a different uh, rep's territory. So what we were just looking at was, for example, this rep's territory. And now each of these different colors is obviously a, an individual rep. So if I click on one of their territories, you can see the number of total uh, accounts within that territory, the total pipeline that they have, um, some graphs and charts uh, representing you know, what's... Um, what type of accounts are within that territory. And you said all this information it's pulling can be from a CRM or existing application? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So most of the customers we work with, we're pulling from Salesforce. Um, but yeah, if you, you know, store this data in Google Sheets or Excel, that can be, uh, that can be done as well. Uh, another cool function here is uh, kind of tracking, you know, how many stops and, you know, what the, the mileage is of your reps. So we're visiting with one company where uh, they said the difference between miles expensed and actual miles traveled for a given year is six million dollars. So if you have a you know a more precise and an accurate look at how many miles your reps are actually traveling, it can be a huge saving expense. Uh, so this is just looking at okay, you know, using uh, you know the GPS coordinates of that that rep's phone, uh, how many miles did they travel on that day, and what particular stops did they make? Um, and I guess last thing to show here is. So these different accounts, uh, you can set different priority levels. So this is done using machine learning, but as a manager, if you have any uh, particular mandate or particular um, uh, you know, promotion you're trying to push, you could set uh, a, a uh, you could override that and set your own priority level for that account. 
Uh, and then you can obviously do some filters here with filter and for, I just want to see, you know, high value uh, customers and prospects and things like that. Uh, so that's kind of the, the overall uh, application run through really quickly. Um, I don't know. Any other any other questions? Awesome. I think we can just jump right into how you built it on GCP. Yeah. So here's a look at the architecture. I know there's a lot going on here, but uh, I've, I've mentioned a few of these things. So the sources on the left hand side there, again, we can pull from Salesforce, Excel, Google Sheets. Uh, that's pulled into a data flow uh, pipeline. And we're doing a few things in here. The two big things I'm going to call out is first, we're geocoding the customer locations. Uh, geocoding is just taking an address and converting it to uh, latitude and longitude coordinates so we could put it on a map. And then secondly, we're applying a customer priority score, which I showed you in the, the previous application. Um, from there, we're putting it in Firebase real-time database, uh, which is then uh, being hosted on Firebase hosting. Um, I guess a few other things to point out. We're doing our ML data storage and BigQuery uh, and longer-term storage and cloud storage. Um, we're building these models in Data Lab, and then we're serving uh, the finishing models using Cloud ML, uh, which is then being called in the Dataflow pipeline. Uh, so yeah, that's kind of the fast five-minute overview of, of Waypoints, and uh, thank you, Stephanie, for letting me show you this today. Excellent. All right, thanks, Stephanie, for uh, letting me show the demo. Hopefully, everyone learned a little bit about how MavenWave can help you uh, more efficiently manage your mobile workforce. Awesome. Thank you so much, Matt, for coming on the show. We love having our partners and customers here on Take 5 and GCP Live, so we're excited to get more examples of use cases on GCP. So thanks so much, and now we have a way of knowing how to use Maven Waves waypoints. And what the fox says. Yeah, absolutely. We can all live harmoniously here in the GCP jungle ecosystem together. Arr. Until next time, thanks again.